Hello, let me give you a window into uh, how my Tuesday uh, just started. Hey, what up? It's your boy Zeeland. Today we'll be starting my vlog channel. The first thing we're gonna be doing, the first thing that I do right when I get home from class, I take a seat right on that porcelain throne right there. So drop your drawers, gentlemen. Football manager just came out. Wait, I go. Obviously, once I realized Football Manager 21 was out, it was go time. We streamed. We literally just spent four hours looking at players in the game, players in the database in the game, and just see how they were rated in talking about it. So I haven't actually like really played the game yet. That's what we're going to be doing right now. And you're going to be getting my first impressions right here, right now. We didn't make our manager. Well, I mean, that guy looks dapper. He even has a tie clip. My first impression of this game is in terms of how well this is able to depict me. Now, it's not doing my hairline any favors, and I definitely look better in a suit virtually than I do here. I mean, first impression of you putting yourself in the game with that whole face scan thing? 10 out of 10, not really. I mean, it's eight out of 10 because this is nowhere near realistic. It's just, they set such a low bar for themselves in previous years. Now being able to scan your face in the game. I mean, that is me. You can vividly tell that is me. If my chair creaks in the middle of, of a segment one more time, I'm breaking it in half and turning that into a YouTube video. That's it. So we want to start new game. This is much less complicated than what we've seen in years past. I like the fact that they've taken it off of the side here, right? And I can just nerd out about all this sort of stuff. We're gonna do a career mode, uh, obviously. We are going to start as Orlando City. Uh, the MLS gets so many weird things, we're not gonna start as Orlando City. We are going to start, we'll take um, Leeds. People either hate or love Leeds. We'll do Leeds. We probably do not need a completely full database. Uh, you'll just do large, yeah. Ladies love large databases. That's what my mom told me. So they did a lot of talking about how the game was going to be faster. I don't think I've actually mentioned that in the video before, but the game is allegedly much faster. Let's see. It's not exactly lightning, is it? That being said, we're going to use this generously donated time by Football Manager's slow database loading, which I don't really have a problem with. It's got a lot to do to point out the fact that Reese, the editor of these videos, is awesome, sent me an Everton kit, right? Which you guys can do the same. I now actually have a P.O. box. I'll make sure it's listed down below. It's a command on Twitch that people have been able to send stuff to. But nobody has ever sent me what Reese sent me, which is a full jersey. Boom! Oh! Oh, and if you wanted to just find it on Twitch too, I do stream four days a week. The link is down in the description. I'm gonna be streaming more because my semester of school is almost over. I swear to the FM gods, chair. Dear FM gods. Help me not break this chair. At least until the end of the video. Amen. Oh my God, it's me. <laughs> okay, Zealand Shannon use this profile. Let's get sexy. So I have seen a lot of people talking about the UI and I do think the UI is really crisp. And I know that in, in Football Manager 20, we had this like same entrance screen uh, and this is probably gonna be nothing different here than there isn't. But I know for a fact that in the course of the game, there's gonna be a lot more background rooms like this. I think that is great. A very important. Increase commercial revenue. Wait, are you, f are you serious? And that might have been a thing before. I might have just never seen it. It'd never been sent to me or anything. They want us to be mid table. Anything else weird? Develop players, play attacking, play entertaining, increase commercial revenue. Okay. Should be easy. Stay in the Premier League. It'll be right. Okay. And now you want an induction. And I can like get the inductions for all. Yeah, shoot. Let's do it. Send me all of the inductions. I get an induction on every section of the game. They just make the tutorial more accessible. That is brilliant. Yes to all these things. Brilliant. Are we in the game? Okay, we're here. We got every induction, nothing in, nothing new in the inbox. We have the report bug thing, obviously, for the beta, but the left side looks good. See, I always played on dark mode anyways. And what I was told is that if we go to like in, uh, preferences interface, there's just one skin and they essentially just dark moded it. This, this, this white, it bothers me, man. 
So we've got different stars going on here. They're using white for the stars. I don't like change. Enough time remaining on current contract has a one year extension clause. That's nice. It's a little more detailed here with the recommendations. This is General Manager Victor Orta. I actually usually sign this guy. He's like really good. I signed him as a scout in a lot of games in previous FMs, and he is the general manager of Leeds, which I should have known as I watched the freaking documentary and I didn't put two and two together. Definitely more detailed, which is nice. It's probably because he's good too. We'll, we'll do everything except for the inductions right now. So I create a tactic now. Okay. It's probably gonna be very similar, right? Tactics express how you want your team to play. The key aspects of any tactic are outlined below. There are numerous ways you can customize a tactic to your exact requirements. You should begin by picking your preferred tactical. Okay, thank you. All right, we'll just do a four, two, three, one. I think that's gonna be the OP formation here. This all looks the same. So I haven't really done a lot with tactics. I mean, they've been messing with it nonstop for the last couple of years. We've got no, uh, particular stuff. We have these arrows, which are nice. All right, your tactic is now ready. Here's a provisional squad that best suits it. Oh, they just set me up. Each player in the starting 11 is assigned a role. Wow. These roles dictate the instructions given to a player, right? And they're animated, which is super sick. Like this is super, super, super cool. In oh, ooh. You can see the stars for each for each mentality inside of the role. That's that's neat. They just added that in. How good are they going to be? And then we've got our flexibility in the bottom left corner. OK, neat. So when you click on this and you look to change, you get a star rating for each like duty in the role. Really neat. And then no nonsense center back gets like animated for you. And this dude is shocking. I mean, he's just hoofing it up there. All playing center back looking to make a play. What about central defender? So I'm gonna take it short, okay? And I guess like if you if you put it on stopper, is it gonna show you? It, it, it might have a different animation. It doesn't, okay. So there's no different animations for, ah, it's a bit of a cop out. And this is the new fitness thing. This is their like condition. What is ship? Match sharpness, okay. So this is condition. And when we hover over it, oh, this is gonna make the medical stuff fantastic. Like you can completely ignore your medical center. Now it's it's kind of shoved right in front of you. This is more realistic for sure. Overall risk of in injury. This is gonna scare the out of like everybody. It was like always high for me, no matter what. So the tactics, not a whole lot different. Feel comfortable there. Okay, so for the overall tactical setup of the game, they added the cool things like a more realistic, less scientific, understanding of a player's condition. You're interacting more with the medical center. You've got the animated roles. I'm gonna go with a C on the tactics area. But yeah, they didn't do a ton with it. I know set pieces are the same. Absolutely, really nothing's been changed with the set piece functionality. And now that I'm saying that, I, I do know that for a fact, but I'm just gonna look at it to make sure. And yeah, there's there's um, it's not a whole lot going on. Set pieces are the same. So it's definitely, it's the same. Scouting induction. Why would the recruitment package not be the highest? We are literally in the Premier League. Okay, take the induction. This is such an important part of the game. And I know there's something called a recruitment meeting that we have not seen. Welcome to the scouting center. This is where you handle all your scouting related activities. Okay, that's just all, it's all similar. All entries can be filtered by minimum recommendation level by various members of the recruitment team, allowing you to have full control over your scouting cards. That's new, isn't it? Like th this is new. Even if, if it's not, then I really wish I knew this existed before. I'm sure you're only contacted by agents about blank. It's so valuable when you're a lower league team and you get 45 million future prospect players that agents are like, hey, can he trial with you? By the way, he's a half silver star. Just thought I'd let you know. Have a great day. That's wonderful. Really, you can boil this down to exactly what you want coming through here. You not have any wasted time, right? You've got your players searching. You've got your recruitment packages just the same. All this is the same. And now assignments. This is where things can get frisky. And I, I guess that's it. Nothing? Assignments are all the same? Let me just create an assignment. Do we just do that? Caribbean? Um, so let's just say we want to go South America East, top prospect, guys, it's all the same. It is, it's all the same. We got no different options here. They haven't really touched scouting. So other than maybe going a little more in depth with the filters, which is very possibly just a thing that I never clicked on before. The UI has definitely been markedly improved, markedly improved. A transfer induction? Sure, I suppose I'll take a transfer induction. I know they, they said that in transfers, there's gonna be a lot of loan to buys because financially all of the teams are damaged by COVID. COVID is not actually in the game, but the financial damage of COVID is in the game. So it's like a dicey situation for them. Kind of just wanna see like what clauses are available. Do we have any extra clauses in negotiation? 
no we don't all, all the transfers are looking the same and i know the match engine is going to be like it, it's basically the biggest improvement i know there's a lot of ui what i call ease of use changes that have been made in football manager and there are some changes to contract negotiation this is what i wanted to see you can improve trading facilities nice i thought i could say you'll be this when oh playing time 2022 say like you'll be a star player can't i say once this guy leaves wasn't that in the game how do i do that maybe it's because i'm on a goalkeeper let's try somebody else let's try somebody else let's try, let's, come on let's try somebody else how about how about a youth guy clearly i'm picking the wrong guys liam cooper not a youth guy i know that gaetano barrar is there anyone under the age of 45 on this team oh my goodness tyler okay tyler you are going to be a squad player playing you're gonna be a regular starter you go from impact sub to regular starter win aha i found it that's awesome this is such a cool feature you can totally trap people on your team for a long time with this hey when bamford's gone you'll be a regular starter tyler it's also a wonderful way to keep like if you have a depth chart and kind of a conveyor belt of talent it's a wonderful way to keep that wonder kid satisfied with their contract even if they're not getting a ton of playing time at the moment because you've got another guy that is just better than them right now you know they'll be better than them eventually but it, like it keeps them quiet that's a wonderful feature even the negotiation features are, are are a little light let me talk to the board i feel like i'm gonna go to i'm gonna go to some cool room if i talk to the board hey yo board if i don't go into an immediate conversation i have to like wait that sucks anything different in training devise my own schedules from scratch that's new isn't it yeah i've done i've done huge training videos before we've never i like you always have to be sure because there's so many different weird parts to this game schedules is new you've been able to create and save your own schedules before but having a, a schedules tab where you can create schedules i that is new it was certainly not prominent enough to have its own tab at the top and now it's easier if you want to just completely do away with the coaching staff like controlling you at all here's my question in individual training we got any other we got any other traits so i want to take luke luke lukey luke and i want to do movement training oh here it is here's the screen okay um pat him on the shoulder you patted jackson on the shoulder his body language remained unchanged this is like some well, you know one of those simulation games where you're like trying to flirt with a girl in a bar that's what i feel like i'm doing right now i would like to start luke to not get forward as often as he currently does now i'd like for him to i don't know run with the ball more often very poor idea it needs good i trust your opinion i, I trust it mark in quick chat so that's a quick chat we're just having quick chats okay I think that's fantastic. I think that's it. One, that's a huge improvement from having to get load up an entire other screen, especially if you're struggling for processing power and the ability to set the tone at the beginning of the conversation is just something that's incredibly realistic and I'm glad they've added to the game. Team report induction, squad dynamics induction. It's a lot of inductions. Development center induction. They change anything in here? I, I mean, like, it didn't look like it changed anything. I mean, there's a lot of information going on, but it's all kind of the same. I want to hold a recruitment meeting. How do I do that? I even like, can I demand recruitment meeting? I can talk to an agent, right? I get to, oh, I could like get in touch with the agent. Glad to hear you're interested in signing Shaw Pedro. For a deal to be likely, it would be more important that the following needs are met. Competition for places and earn plenty of playing time over the course of the season. Would want a salary like that. Believe Watford will want somewhere between that to make a deal possible. We're looking forward to playing in the English Premier Division. This is super cool. Wow, I was about to rate like everything that we're looking at today. I was about to just kind of give it a C and say, hey, they've repurposed a few things, added a couple of things. Their ability to do these quick chats and remote chats and involving the agent in these kind of quick conversations, that improvement in the interfacing is sick. Super cool. That is just all the information I could possibly want right there in front of me, ready to be wielded. But I have no idea how to hold a, a meeting. I demand a meeting. I'm guessing it's just the sort of thing that like pops up once a month. Can I dictate how often it pops up? Is it in staff responsibilities? This is still gross. They need to do something about that. I, I don't know what exactly. Provide own team analysis reports. Provide opposition reports. Provide scout feedback. Providing scouting opposition reports. Okay, so this is this is cool. They've kind of moved some of that from the scouting area like assigning it as a scouting assignment to scout the other team that's now in your staff responsibilities which makes a load of sense 
pep talk feedback. All you guys suck at team talk, so this is gonna be good for you, right? So you guys asked for my first impressions of Football Manager 2021. You were like, Zealand, what do you think of the game? Well, I'm gonna make a video. We're gonna make like a gameplay video where we actually go through the match day experience. But getting into the game, clicking around, going through all of the experiences for the first time here, I have to say that whether this is a good game or not hinges on the match engine. It hinges on how improved that experience is because there is just enough here to keep you interested. Now, they of course made this game during a pandemic and I understand that. And we take it with a grain of salt and we appreciate they've come out with a new game. It was like a week or two late, whatever. They've not made major changes to any significant portion of the game. And I'm assuming the recruitment meeting is going to essentially work like these filters over here or like these preferences. But you're just gonna be, you're just gonna be setting up those, those filters in the recruitment meeting. It's weird that I can't find anything about it. I'm sure I'll run into it. There's not a lot changed. I think the skin is great. The level of change is not great and it still is enough if the match engine is the main attraction i look forward to making that video no pressure football manager look i'm gonna play this game for 3,000 hours i love football manager it's the newest version of football manager i, I think based off what i've seen right now i gotta give it a b minus overall my first impression b minus right the interaction's super cool there's just not enough change yet part two is the match engine gameplay of this so that's coming up next. Reese, take it away.